नमस्ते माई नेम इज अमीश त्रिपाठी वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द डिड यू नो सीरीज ऑफ द इमोटल इंडिया पॉडकास्ट एंड टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग द इनक्रेडिबल जर्नी ऑफ आर कॉन्टिनेंट इमेजिन दिस यूर स्टेरिंग एट अ वर्ल्ड मैप एंड सडनली समथिंग क्लिक्स ट्राई दिस टेक अ वर्ल्ड मैप और अ ग्लोब एंड सी इफ यू कैन मैच द एजेस ऑफ डिफरेंट कॉन्टिनेंट्स लाइक पजल पीसेस Do you notice that the east coast of South America looks like a puzzle piece that fits perfectly into the west coast of Africa? Coincidence? Not at all. This is one of the first clues that led scientists to an astonishing discovery that the land beneath our feet actually moves. Let's find out more. so the idea that continents move and very slowly obviously if they move fast we'd keep falling so the idea that they move is known as continental drift and was first proposed in the early 20th century by a german meteorologist named alfred wegener german name uh, if i'm pronouncing it wrong my apologies alfred wegener now wegener wasn't a geologist by profession but his curiosity led him to question why fossils of the same prehistoric creatures were found on continents separated by vast oceans like something found in africa and south america that doesn't make sense there's the atlantic ocean in the middle his bold theory to explain this that these land masses were once united in a supercontinent called pangaea and had since drifted apart but here's the thing Back in his time, Wegener couldn't explain how the continents moved, and so his idea was dismissed by many scientists. The proof would come decades later, thanks to a brilliant geologist and cartographer named Mary Tharp, a woman whose contributions have sadly been ignored. In the 1950s, Tharp mapped the ocean floor and discovered something remarkable: a massive underwater mountain range known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Her work provided the missing link. The continents weren't just drifting. The Earth's crust was actively spreading apart due to forces deep within the planet. Think of the Earth's surface like a cracked eggshell that slowly shifts and rearranges itself over time, over loads of time. Now, let's rewind the clock way back about 300 million years ago. Imagine a world where all the land you see today was fused into one gigantic supercontinent, Pangaea. But Pangaea didn't last forever. Around 200 million years ago, it began breaking apart, forming smaller land masses that would eventually become the continents we know today. And here's where it gets even more fascinating, at least for us Indians. India was once joined to Madagascar. Australia and Antarctica. Yes, the Indian subcontinent wasn't always nestled under the shadow of the Himalayas. Then, in phases from 70 to 130 million years ago, India broke away from Australia and Antarctica and lastly from Madagascar and then began a dramatic northward journey as an island continent. for millions of years it moved at an astonishing speed like geologically speaking okay about 15 cm per year that's a very fast pace for a continent to move 15 cm per year is about as fast as your fingernails grow or a snail moves finally around 50 million years ago it collided india collided with a massive eurasian landmass this titanic clash crumpled the earth's crust Okay like when two plates meet they go up like this right this titanic clash crumpled the earth's crust giving birth to the majestic himalayas which are still rising to this day so the next time you gaze at a map or walk through the mountains remember 
you are standing on a planet that is constantly reshaping itself. The land beneath your feet has been on an epic journey, drifting, colliding and creating the world as we know it. And who knows, millions of years from now, the continents might look entirely different once again. Scientists predict that one of the biggest changes we might see in the future is Africa actually splitting into two. The East African Rift System is a massive crack in the Earth's surface that stretches over 3000 kilometers from the Red Sea all the way down to Mozambique. It is caused by tectonic forces slowly pulling apart the African plate, creating deep valleys and even active volcanoes like Mount uh, Nyirangongo. In some regions, large lakes like Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika have already formed as a result of this. If this movement carries on, if this process continues, a new ocean could eventually flood the rift, permanently splitting the eastern part of Africa from the rest of the continent. Right now, the East African rift system is slowly pulling apart and in a few million years, a whole new ocean might form dividing Africa into two separate continents. Fascinating, right? This has been a Did You Know episode, a fascinating glimpse into the wonders of science and history. Stay curious, because there's always more to discover. You never follow the science, you discover the science. Keep questioning. And if you like this program, hit like and subscribe below so that you can get alerts when the next episode launches. Until then, this is me, Amish Tripathi, signing off. Thank you and Namaste.